But Let's check ask it out. them. I'm the only one. I ain't got to ask. I'm the only one that can pull off the hat with a onesie. He need a haircut, so. Yeah, I'm looking rough. But she cuts his own hair. He just I just had, had time. time. Yeah. I had, time I haven't is had the time, issue. So. That's the only thing. Yeah. So, yeah. It, please excuse his hat with his onesie. They match. Messing up match, the. Though. Messing up the flow. It's Let me get. Right. I'm gonna get a backstory behind these onesies. Yeah. It's not really a backstory, but so we got these. I think that was we got these matching onesies right when we got engaged. So we got engaged the beginning of December of 2018, right? Yeah. I think it was the beginning mm -hmm. of December. Yeah. No, it wasn't the beginning. It was the end of December. The end. December 20th, to be exact. Yeah. I don't remember. I'm gonna be December honest. 20th. I don't remember the date. You can hear Chase in the background. He's in the swing. We might have to get him, but he might be okay. He was sweet, so we'll see. <laughs> I love it. This is the struggles of Anywho, parenthood. maybe I can get the story out real quick. So, yeah, we got these onesies like right when we got engaged because it was around Christmas time. So I'm gonna put a picture on the screen, but it's just like that was what five five years ago. Yeah, five years. It was legit years five ago. years ago. Yeah. So yeah, five years later, we still in the same onesies. Yeah. Same ones. And we can still fit them. Yeah. I'm pushing it a nah, little bit. Man, I think it, I think it used to be a little big. Nah. Man. No, but yeah, so these are our onesies that we had when we got engaged. Yeah. And we're cute in our matching onesies. No kids. No kids. Not even living together yet. Facts. The That's very true. beginning. Very beginning. That, that was the. Very beginning. Where it's like, okay, it's gonna <laughs> get real. Yeah. You stuck with me now. Yeah. Do you regret it? What? <laughs> Did you think you made the right decision? Of course. Okay. That's funny we just talked about that the other day. What? How I was like. You can be confident that I know that I make the right decision. Oh, yeah. Like, you can be confident in my decision making that I chose the right wife. Yeah. So Hopefully, y'all can, can. I'm sorry. Hopefully, they can hear. You guys speak oh, yeah. up a little bit. The water is yeah. heating up for this for this hot cocoa. Yeah. As y'all can tell by the title, it's a hot chocolate chit chat. So we're just gonna be talking. We'll get into it once we get our hot chocolate. But yeah. Yeah. yeah we were talking about him. Um, I can be confident in his decision making that he made the right decision. Yeah. Yeah. In regards to in regards to you. This. Yeah. yeah. Because I think it's with a lot of wives they get to the point where they're like, Am I the right one for him? You know, and I don't know. I can't speak for a lot of wives so I don't know. But I think that's an interesting perspective. It's like does your husband think that he made the right decision, he still made the right decision. If so, then you can rest assured that you are still, you know, exactly what he wants and exactly what he needs. So why, so why even contemplate that? Anymore? Depending on the husband. I think it's easier for you to say because that's how you are, but that's not everybody. That's not everybody's husband. That's not everybody's thought process. Yeah. So I think sure. it really does depend. Yeah. Some people, they, they think they made the right decision in the beginning, and then a year, two years, 20 years, 25 years, yeah. then it's like, okay, maybe I didn't make, you know. Yeah. You gonna flip on me? No. All right. As long as you Nobody, uh, let's talk about that. Nobody ever plans to flip. All right. I, this is what I believe, and we talked about this the other day, too. I believe, really? yeah, we talk about it a lot. Yeah, I was gonna say, what are we, <laughs> what are we talking about? I believe that there are always signs in the beginning oh. that will tell you, even if you recognize those signs or not, I yeah. feel like there are signs in the beginning that will tell you if somebody's going to flip. Now, that's not all the time, but from a man's perspective, if a man is going to flip on you, mm -hmm. I feel like there are signs that... that you they're going to flip. Yeah, that they're going to they change, they're gonna change up. There's something behind the scenes going on. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's easier for... A guy to recognize than Isn't a woman to recognize. I think so, for sure. The signs are usually there. You usually just blind to them. Yeah. If you're I really into so. that person, you just blind to them. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's always signs. I do think that it's still possible for people to completely change and flip, though. 
Yeah. Without signs, I I definitely think that's possible. Yeah. It's not always signs. I guess. It's not. I don't think. So. I think so. I think it is always signs. Let us know. Let us know in the comments. I think it's Let always us know signs, man. Think. Like, do y'all think that there's always red flags in the beginning, the very beginning, that you can catch on to? I think that there are red flags sometimes, like you just overlook them. But there might be cases where the person just just flip, just flip. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think more often than not. There were they, red flags. You think that they're turning into somebody that you didn't, you're not the same person you met, yeah. but they were actually that person all along. That's how I feel. I kind of agree. I feel like they were low key, like that I person. I think maybe more along. often than not. Yeah. Yeah. But still, those odd cases where yeah. somebody just went crazy, just flipped. Yeah. I mean, you got crazy people. Yeah. You ready for some hot cocoa? Yeah, let's right. get into this hot chocolate. Hello, family. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 11. 11. I'm thinking this is 11. Yeah. So as y'all can tell by the title, we're going to do a little hot chocolate chit chat. Um, we're just going to chat. See what we can get into. Talk yeah. a little bit. Might yeah. talk about 2023. Yeah. Uh, talk about 2024 a little bit. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. We'll see what we get into. Yeah. Yeah. So as y'all, well, if you watch the um, the home decorating video that we did, if you didn't watch that, pause this. Go watch our decorating video. But we have our little hot chocolate um, bar. Well, not bar, but what do you call this? Just look. Station? Yeah, station. Hot chocolate uh -huh. station. So we're just going to do a little hot chocolate. We got some hot chocolate, candy canes, a little marshmallow. So we'll get into it. I'm ready. All right. I've been, this has been sitting here for a minute now. I've just been walking past not that it. that long. Eyeballing it. Oh, you could have got some. It's just, I mean, it's. I, I just didn't want to touch it until it was time. You know, until we well, were together time. doing it, you know? It's time. All right. You ready? I haven't made hot chocolate in, I don't know how long. Can you give me one? It's been a long time. I was going to pour yours for you. Oh, okay. I mean. Okay. I mean, what am I here for? Right? That's what I do. It's just like opening the door. Is it? Even though I've been slacking on that. Yeah, opening you your door. Yeah, you do not be opening my door. <laughs> I have good intentions about that. But you don't be doing it. So don't even try to get on camera in front like you be. I was, I was, I, just, real I, on I just admitted that I, I was slacking. I've been slacking on the opening the car door. Shame on me. Cause I still Show enough used to do it. I still pride myself on trying to keep it old school. Like chivalry is not dead. Cause we there's some of us still out here, even the young bucks out here treating our wives like queens. Like y'all supposed to be treated. Yeah. There's not many of y'all left. We out there. <laughs> you and far between. Out there. Y'all, so this says add, you can add hot water. We have our hot water. But it says for richer taste, add milk. We just gonna rock with the water, but. I didn't know you can add milk. It says for richer taste, add milk. Oh, well, we just. You're gonna, you gonna use this water since yeah. we done already boiled it. So, yeah. Do people put candy canes in their hot I used to work with um, somebody who did. I never tried it. They liked it. Like the peppermint, peppermint flavor yeah. in your hot chocolate. You should try it. I might try it. Okay, that's enough. I don't want it to be like watered down. Especially because they said for richer taste. Yeah, if it's watered down, she is not going to drink it. Facts. Why do you say that? Because you're real, you're real particular with your, with your food and drinks. What? If it's not up to par for you, it's, it's a no-go. I mean... <laughs> it's true. Is it true? Facts. For sure. Is that a bad thing though? I didn't say it was a bad thing. That's just, I just know you. And the family that's watching this right now, they can attest to what I'm saying. <laughs> Give me an example. Give an me example? evidence. Yeah. What do you talk like? Where's this coming from? Just because I said. I don't want to water I can down. give you many examples. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you many examples. Many examples. Give them to me. Like, yeah. uh... You want to use this? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Put it over in your cup. That's good. That's good. 
when Bree bought you those uh, things for like all those smoothies and whatnot. Oh, we just talked about that with her. They yeah. were not good. Well, the smoothie was good. The coffee wasn't good. Did you drink it? The no. coffee? Because it just wasn't. Why would I nothing. keep drinking it? You even said that they didn't taste good. Why would I keep that, drinking it? But it's nasty. see me, I'm different. So I would. That's, if if, that's if, if I can if me. I can manage it, I'll just drink it because I Why? got it. Because I got it. Either I paid for it or somebody else paid for it for me. So I'm gonna drink it. Okay, that's not me. I, that's what I mean. And if you're watching I know it, that. if you're watching this and you plan on getting me something and you're gonna be offended if you buy me something and I don't like it, like food or drink wise, if I don't like it, I don't like it. I'm not gonna just drink it just for the sake of drinking it. I know. That's that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I know. I know. I'm not gonna do it at a restaurant. I'm not gonna do it anywhere. <laughs> yeah, y'all let me know in the comments if y'all, well, y'all might not agree with me. You don't have to agree with me, but how do y'all feel about that? Like, why would I? That's just like at a restaurant when there's some people, if they get their food and it's not what they asked for, they just keep it. That's the it same thing. Yeah. They'll, they'll keep it different. and it's like, well, it's already here, but that's not what you. That's not what you asked for. That's not what you paid for. You don't yeah. like it. You don't like it. Yeah, that's different. And some people, people, people do that because they're like, they don't want them to do something to their food. Yeah. But honey, well, I that's, pray that, over my food. That's exactly what I think about. If it if it's manageable, like if I can deal with it, then I'm I'm gonna deal with it instead of sending it back to the kitchen because, I, yeah, I definitely have trust issues with that. Sending it back to the kitchen. I know people who have worked in the kitchen, and I don't want to send nothing back to them. Nothing. I get that. I do. But we are spending this whole time talking about. I don't know. But one, okay, one more thing. Because if it's like, so like I don't eat pork. So if it's something like that, like it's bacon or something, because that has happened. Like if it's bacon okay. or something on it, Obviously. then it's like, am I supposed to keep that and eat it? No, like, of course not. Because I'm not unreasonable. I, I don't said feel like manageable. I, am. I said if it's manageable. Yeah, if it's manageable, but if it's something like that, like oh, there's bacon bits on something, I don't eat it. I'm not gonna eat it just because it's already at my table. I'm just not gonna. I eat agree. It. I, I agree. That's just me. I agree. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I agree. With that part. Not to, not the full extent. So in what way am I unreasonable? No. I don't think so. I didn't say unreasonable. I just I like just, what I like. I just know you. Yeah. It shouldn't if, be if bad it's to not be up specific. To part of, it's, it needs it's to like, be what it's I like say this. It is. It's like mm -mm, no chance at all. Not even gonna take another sip. Like what? Give me an example. I just gave an example. Okay, it's a different one. Cause that, I mean, it it wasn't good. That's my example. You asked me for an example. I gave it to you. You don't want to accept my yeah, example? Yeah, yeah, Okay. You don't have no real argument. How was 2023 for you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how, how was 2023 I like marshmallows. I could have just had a whole cup full of marshmallows. You put a whole bunch of marshmallows I in I sure did. Mm. I think you put, only supposed to put a little bit, right? There's no guideline. No, I don't know. Are you the hot chocolate police? How was your, your twenty twenty three? Yeah, it had some bad parts and good parts. Give, me, give me some. Let's talk about some highlights of twenty twenty three. The highlights of twenty twenty three. Obviously, we have one I gave main. Birth. Yeah, we have one main <laughs> highlight. We brought new life into this world. Yeah, we got our son. Yeah. Precious Chase. Yeah. Um. Other highlights? Yeah. I finally started my YouTube channel. Now yes. it's our YouTube channel, but if you've been here since the beginning, mm -hmm. you know, it used to just be me. But I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a while, and I was a little nervous, but I started it in January of this year. So I definitely took a leap. I was already doing, like, social media, like, TikTok, Instagram stuff before, but this year I was like, enough is enough. I'm going to start the channel. And I'm glad that I started it. I'm glad. It's been like a learning. This I feel like this was like my learning year, like mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to edit, trying to figure out thumbnails, SEO. You know, just everything with YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, Are you, how to vlog? Yeah, because it's different than short form content. It's a lot different. Are you? I guess satisfied with where we where we are right now with the channel. No. Not satisfied. Mm -hmm. For the lack of better words, like are you? 
content with where we are right now. No. With the amount of time that we've been doing it. No. Not at all? I, I think that we've gotten far. I'm not content because I, I have goals. Well, I have, I'm I know, striving I'm just saying for, for the, like, right now, for the amount of time that we've been doing For a year? It, yeah. I don't think content is the right word. I'm, yeah, uh, I, I think I think that I we we had a lot of growth. Yeah. Because it could have been no growth at all. Yeah. So it's not like we didn't get anywhere, but I won't say content because I'm not content with where we are. Right. I don't think it would be good for me to be content where we are. Well, I'm not saying content. I'm just saying as far as the amount of time that we've been doing it, do you think it could have been better, could have been worse? Could be better, could be worse. I think a little bit of both. Bit it of could both. definitely be worse, but it could definitely be better. Okay. That makes sense. That's what I'm saying. I'm not content. It's not like I'm just content where we are. It's yeah. like, no, we're still pushing. We're still, you know. That makes sense. We're building our community. That makes sense. And we love it here. I love it here. I like doing long form content a lot better than short form. We were just talking about that. Yeah. Like, short form is a lot more stressful. To me, because you're expected to post even more. Like, now we're posting vlogmas, so it's every day, which is not normal. Like, normally it's not like that. But even still, like, doing vlogmas, like, yes, it's stressful and it's a lot of work, but I, I enjoy editing long-form videos over short-form. And I feel like it's because maybe you can actually build some type of connection with your audience. Because um, you can... You can talk more. The videos are longer. It's not like quick 30 second clips. When you're on TikTok and Instagram, people are just scrolling. You got like literally like two seconds to grab somebody's attention. Yeah. Um, and I feel like when people are watching YouTube videos, you have a little bit more time. You don't have, a, you know, a long yeah. time to catch somebody's attention, but they're coming for a longer video. Yeah. I feel like it's, so I don't know. I think it's better because you get to tell a story. Yeah. Like you get to put together. You can you can do story. that on sh you can do that with short form, but I find it harder. And this is just me. I'm still. I've been trying to do short form content. Well, not trying because I've I've started it when I quit my job with Kinsley. So it's been like two years. Mm -hmm. And it's a learning. Like you constantly have to learn and try to figure out the algorithms and just everything. You just have to figure out your space in the social media world. And I still feel like, like I, I feel like I've been constantly trying new things and figuring it out. Yeah. Which is what you have to do until you find something that sticks. Yeah. So I feel like I still haven't found what really is my, like, I enjoy doing this. Like, not yeah. only is it working, but what do I enjoy? Mm -hmm. That's not just stressful. Right. Because at yeah. one point I was posting on TikTok three times a day. And that's when I really did grow. So the the more... The more content you put out there, the more chance you have of people seeing it. Um, but that's it was a lot of work. I was yeah. constantly in front of that camera, <laughs> constantly. Yeah. And I cannot do posting three times a day right now. Like, that's just not reasonable <laughs> for me right now. That's when Kinsley was smaller. During her naps, I would be batch creating. Yeah. Posting three times a day on TikTok. Now, no way. Can't yeah. do it. Even one time a day is a struggle. Yeah. But I still haven't figured out, you know, how to really enjoy short form content. Well, maybe this is where we just where you belong. On YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. I should have started on YouTube when I first started short form content. Facts. I Facts. could have been two years. <laughs> it's all good though. But yeah, it's all timing good. is everything. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out for the support that y'all give us. Yeah. I mean, we don't take it for granted. Every single subscriber matters so yeah uh, i don't care if we would have had 20 subscribers yeah this is our community yeah yeah and we are getting to that point where it's like okay we are genuinely enjoying putting out this content yeah vlogmas is kind of testing us but yeah vlogmas ain't no joke yeah we, you know we new youtubers so we're like yeah we're gonna try vlogmas yeah no joke yeah <laughs> this, this. <laughs> it's intense because yeah. it's constant Constant creating, constant editing. It's just, it don't stop. Yeah. Literally doesn't stop. Yeah. There's no breaks. Yeah. But it's but worth it, though. It is worth it. I like it. It I is like worth it. it. Yeah. So, why are we talking about this? We're just talking about 2023 highlights. And you oh, started, highlight. Yeah, I started, started my channel. Yeah. I had Chase. Mm-hmm. 
And really, Kinsley took her first flight. So that was exciting. Um, she was a pro, pro flyer. And yeah, got a camera. Yeah. 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 I think those were my highlights, I guess. Yeah. What were your highlights? For well, definitely Chase, obviously. But we went to DC this year. DC was We went to DC highlight. the week that I found that I was pregnant. Yeah. For our anniversary. DC was a good trip. That was weird. We definitely went back. Yeah. Anytime fun. we get to travel together like that is always. We always have good time traveling yeah. together. Yeah. You know, I don't care where we go. I'm your best friend? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. We can go up the street to Raleigh. We're going to have a great time. Oh, yeah. It, it doesn't matter where we go. Always. 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 Yeah. So that's that That was definitely a highlight, too. But 2023 has kind of been like, it's been a grind year. Yeah. yeah. 2023 is an odd year. Like it was, it was just a. I feel like like a roller coaster. Yeah, that's what I'll explain it as. It's been a grind year, and I appreciate I, I appreciate years like like this because usually, you know, on the other side, you kind of you see what you made you of. Something. You see what you oh, made of. Yeah. yeah, see what you made of, and you kind of see. It always makes sense in hindsight view. You, you see what you know why God took you through what you went through. Yeah. Right. So. But it's, it's definitely been a grind year. Um, so it's interesting that you said that because that's how I feel. That's how I feel about 2023, but that's really how I feel about 2024. Like, I feel like in 2024, I'm really going to see maybe the fruit of the grind year, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Like, the fruit and see, like, okay, this is why God took me through that. Mm -hmm. Or this is why this had to happen in 2023. So I, I just have a feeling like 2024 is going to be like, it's going to reveal yeah. whatever it needs to reveal about this yeah. year, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, it always does. Like, yeah. the way that we ended 2022 was like literally set us up to, to be able to thrive in 2023 with certain things that we did. Uh, and it, we didn't know why we were doing those things in 2022 and why we ended it that way, but it made sense. Yeah. It made sense in 2023. Speaking on that, I got a question for you. Yeah. So you know how we always say the way that you leave a thing is the way that you will enter into the next, right? Mm -hmm. One, do you believe that? And two, how are you finishing 2023? to set yourself up for 2024. And that's in many aspects, in any aspect, spiritually, um, with the channel, personally. How am I ending this year? Yeah. Well, first I do believe that because, just quick story time, I think it was last year where we agreed to increase our tithe. Yeah. For, can we talk about that? I'm fine with it. Yeah, so we, uh, what was it for? The month of December, or no, it was it a little was, bit longer. We did. It was three towards months. the end of the year. Yeah, three months, and this was not, this was not something that we just decided to do. This was oh, prompted yeah. by the Holy Spirit, yeah. for sure. So it was more because you know tithe is ten percent, mm -hmm. but we increased our tithe for that three months because the way you leave a year, the way you mm -hmm. enter a year, and we saw the fruit of that sacrifice. Like we saw the increase the following year, which this year that was yeah, last that was the right. end of twenty twenty two. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So we saw the fruit and the increase from that sacrifice in twenty twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. So I I believe it because we've yeah. seen it. Yeah. We just And it's not always financial. I don't wanna put but yeah, it's not always financial. Know, Absolutely. That's not. just one example. Yeah. So Yeah, that was um that was God at work. I think I thank God for giving us like the heart to just give, mm -hmm. to be obedient to Him and being willing to give in that way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely, that was definitely a good example of the way you leave. Yeah, the way, the way you, you live is the way you in, the way you leave mm -hmm. is the way you enter into yeah. the next thing. Yeah. Um, how am I leaving twenty twenty three? Mm hmm. Um. Have you even thought about it yet? No. Hmm. No, that's I haven't. That's my ass. That's, that's something to start thinking about, huh? 
Yeah, I feel like I need to think about how am I leaving this year. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the only thing, the only area where I know how I'm leaving this year, mm -hmm. I guess, I guess by default with vlogmas is YouTube. Yeah, like where I want this because there's a bigger yeah. grand scheme of why we're of doing thing, this. Yeah, of why yeah. we're even doing this. Yeah, so I feel like the consistency has been established. Right. With yeah. this specific thing. That's true. Every other area of my life, I feel like I need to evaluate how am I leaving this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like I've lost sight of, not that you just, you know, well, pregnancy is a big deal and having a baby. There's been a lot of, like, transition lately. So I haven't put much thought into right. how am I leaving because there's just been so much other stuff mm -hmm. going on. Yeah. But I guess I do need to, like, kind of think about how am I leaving 2023. Yeah. And how do I want to enter 2024. Right. Yeah. A lot of people don't, I mean, a lot of people don't examine that um, as far as the entire month of December or like the the last part of the year. They just think about know. the next year. Right. And I mean, let's be honest, New Year's resolutions don't pan mm -hmm. out. No, it lasts Not really. two months, three yeah. months maybe. Right. So I, I feel like there's something that has to be established and worked on for a while as you enter into the next year so yeah so what what about you your highlights did you get the highlights i only talked about my highlights what you said dc and what else chase chase and that this year was a grind year grind year how are you leaving 2023 and i guess how do you want to enter 2024 this hot chocolate it's good it's good yeah, yeah it's really Why? good yeah, it's some good hot chocolate. It really is. It's regular Swiss hot chocolate, but it's good. They, they got some some bite to it. Mm -hmm. Um, but as far as leaving twenty twenty three, I I really would like to enter into twenty twenty four more consistent with prayer, mm -hmm. and not just as an individual, but as a couple. Mm -hmm. Um. Because there was a, that was a period of time when, when we were like praying together, and we were just connected at a level spiritually, and it was like unbreakable. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was around the same time period where we had did our tax returns, and we owed a certain amount of money on our tax returns. Oh, yeah. And before that, the Lord had put it on our hearts to save that same amount of money that we owed. That was around the same time yeah. period where we was just, we had been, you know, going through ups and downs, but we were connected and we just couldn't, you know, we wouldn't let up. Um, I just feel like that's, that's extremely necessary for, for what's coming in 2024, so... That's something we'll we'll have to talk about. Yeah, when you have kids, <laughs> life gets hectic. Yeah, I'll just say that. So you definitely have to you have to. Yeah. You it becomes readjust. harder to do. Yeah. To do stuff like that, it really does. Yeah. Even though it sounds simple, it's not. It's really not. Your time is not yours when you have kids. Yeah. We're talking. Most of y'all probably have kids that are yeah, watching. Yeah, they are. So y'all already know. Yeah. Yeah, but. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's it. More consistent with her? Um, it's probably more than that. Just character as well. Character, um, consistency, like you said, with the with the channel and also with everything else. Um, being consistent with putting in the time to read my Bible. Mm -hmm. Putting in the time to spend with him. Um, also being more intentional with family time too, because like these past couple months, it's just been like, we'll get it in when we can, instead of being more intentional about it. What do you mean? Like spending time together as a family and actually putting stuff on the calendar, like, okay, we're going to do this as family time this week. Um, usually we just kind of look like, okay, Sunday's going to be our family time and we're just going to wing it, you know? Yeah, I feel like we just had a baby. So we have yeah. to take that into consideration. It's I not, it. this is not normal life. 
That's true. Like right now is literally a transition yeah. period. You can't really do the normal things right when you have a baby. Like you, it's a right, big adjustment. It. Yeah. I get it. I just so, feel like like now is the time. Now that yeah. we kind of getting back on our feet and getting back into the the program, I feel like now is the time to start getting back to that schedule or looking at things like that and putting it on the schedule and being intentional about it. That's interesting. Because I feel like I do, like, <laughs> I feel like I do put try to put stuff on the schedule. Like, I'll look for events or look for things and, like, try to, especially for Kinsley to get her out the house. Yeah. Like, try to put that on the yeah. schedule. So, I, I guess you that's do. your perspective. Yeah, yeah. it's personal That's for me. you. Because me, me that's personal. not, that's like, already I, good. I feel like me. you you are great with doing that. Yeah. Right? And I'm just there. Yeah. I'm you not just, just be, there, just but be I'm, along just, for the ride. I'm just along for the ride. And yeah. it's just like, okay. I want to be more intentional at looking forward to those things okay. instead of just being letting you doing all the the planning for the family events and stuff like that. So, so yeah, that's that's one of the things for me. I didn't know that would be a goal of yours, but yeah, that's cool. So, okay, yeah. that's interesting. I think for twenty twenty four, the word is going to be consistency because I feel like this month. I've tried to be a little bit more consistent with like prayer, but just like prayer throughout the day, like yeah. constant, constant, constant yeah. prayer, if that makes sense. Like yeah. I still need to find time to just dedicate it time, but yeah. in the season that I'm in, it's just like, like it was easier to have dedicated time to read the word and pray yeah. when I didn't have kids. Yeah. And, <laughs> and now it's just, it's just so hard because even when you do have a snippet of time, my eyeballs are <laughs> like feel like they're about to fall out. Like I just be so tired. Yeah. So it wouldn't even serve me to sit down and read because I would literally probably fall asleep. Mm-hmm. So for me, just I feel like this month I've been trying to be more consistent with just constant throughout the day while you're doing to you know mm-hmm. constant prayer. Do you um, think we um sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Do you think we? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. I thought you was finishing. No, go ahead. I was. I ain't finished. Do you think we put too much pressure on ourselves? Because people are probably looking at this like, dang, y'all just had a kid. Y'all thinking about doing this and this and this and this and this. What do you think about that? you think we put too much pressure on ourselves? I can't speak for you. What about you? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> probably? <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. so. You think so? Yeah. I think it's necessary. But I, well, I don't think it's always necessary. Not to like That's another pressure. thing, yeah. I feel like that's a mom and maybe a wife thing. I don't know. Because I feel like I have to do everything and have everything handled. Make sure everybody's good. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I, I, that's another thing, how I'm leaving 2023 and going into 2024. If something, if something does not serve me, if I'm agreeing to do something where deep down I really don't want to do it, and because I feel like I my whole life like I would do that and that's probably a part of just getting older like saying no like if I want to if somebody asks me to do something and I truly don't want to do it I'm not gonna say yes just to please that person I'm gonna say no like that's how I'm leaving 2023 anything that's taking my time not serving me um I feel like I don't really I wasn't called to do it and I'm just doing it just for the sake of doing it. Like I'm not in the business of trying to waste my time because there's so many other things that really require my time. Anything else, like it has to really make sense for me to agree to do it or to participate in. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I decided I'm not because I feel like with Kinsley, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be to be places and to still be showing up, you know, just everywhere. Like, I didn't just have a child. Like, I didn't just go through a, tr- a huge life transition. Yeah. I still try to keep up with everything. Yeah. And keep up with everybody. And mm-hmm. that's not... Yeah. Now, I'm like, I don't I don't care. Like, I will... I have time for what I have time for. And anything else that does not serve me has to go. Yeah. And I'm going to say a lot more of no's <laughs> in 2024. Because I'm not going to... I end up burnout, stress, over overworked. And that's just... I'm trying to not put so much pressure on myself so that's a part of me like taking the pressure off unnecessary pressure unnecessary pressure because yeah. pressure that's meant to be there is like okay this is just life but i feel like sometimes we can add a lot of unnecessary pressure on ourselves yeah and i'm leaving 2023 that way and i'm gonna enter 2024 saying no yeah 
I agree, so, especially yeah. about the wasting time. Yeah, there's no time to waste these days. Have, yeah, we don't have we don't have mm -mm. time to waste. Mm -mm. Um, sometimes, I, well, I know for a fact we God created us to be able to handle pressure. And that's just who God, you know, what God has called us to in our mission. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lord. And it's not to be honest. I mean, most. I mean, most people won't won't you know admit to this. People that are in ministry and things like that. But it's just it's not easy. Like being <laughs> active in ministry um, and committing to doing God's work is just not. It's not easy. Mm -mm. Um, a lot of people wouldn't do it. A lot of people wouldn't do it. Mm -mm. A lot of people don't do it. Mm -mm. <laughs> not, not wholeheartedly anyway. Yeah. Um, but you know, for for us, it's it's different because we've committed our life to this. We've committed our life to Him, and um, we've confirmed, you know, time after time after time that you know this is what He's called us to. And sometimes that pressure just comes with it. So. I don't necessarily think we put too much pressure on ourselves. Um, we just mm -hmm. we just called to a higher level to do more. Okay, so I feel like there's a fine line with that though, because I feel like we can't add unnecessary pressure oh, yeah. though. For sure. So, like I for example, that. like I'm in school to get my associates in biblical studies. Mm -hmm. Even though it's hard for me to find time to. I find the time because I'm doing it and I'm going to I'm going to see it through. But after Chase came, it's like it, it's becoming even harder to really find time to focus on that. But because I I'm not even going to go into that story, but I heard from the Lord that this is what you're supposed to do. And I know that I know that I know that I heard that yeah. he told that was my what he called me to do. Yeah. So because he called me to do it, I'm gonna see it through no matter what. Right. So that's that's the type of pressure that yeah, I that's, know. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm okay with cuz I know the Lord called me to it. He's going to see me through it. He, yeah. he knew that I was going to have Chase. Yeah. He knew that I was going to have two kids and still have to do it. So he must, you know, he has a plan and he knows that I can handle it. Right. Um, so I'm going to see it through, even though that's added pressure that if I wasn't in school, I could easily quit and I could take that pressure off of me. So I'm not saying get rid of all pressure. Of course. But there is some unnecessary pressure. Oh, I know. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I just don't have time for it. I Anything agree. that I didn't, if the Lord didn't call me to it, and like, because it could be something that's still good yeah. um, that you didn't personally hear the Lord speak to you to do. Like somebody could be coming to you about something to do or participate in or just anything like that. And I'm, I'm just no longer saying yes, just because they want me to do it. If I didn't, if I don't feel like it's going to serve me or it's not in my purpose. I agree. Does that make sense? Yeah. I agree. I'm just not in the business of people pleasing. <laughs> that's 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 really what I'm trying to say. I agree. Because I feel like before, like I would feel guilty or I would yeah. feel bad. Like, oh, well, they asked me to, so I'm just gonna, even though deep down I really don't want to do this, I'm just gonna do it just for the sake of you know not hurting their feelings. Time is a terrible thing to waste. Yeah, I'm learning that. It's a terrible no, thing to no, waste. Mm -mm. Terrible thing to waste. Mm -mm. So. You want to talk about what we got coming up in 2024? Or you want to hold that? Uh, we can talk about what we got coming up. I'm talking about social media wise. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. We can. I'm fine with that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try y'all's opinions on this. Um, so, we've been planning for a while. It's just in the works. We're trying to make sure we bring it to y'all. Um well thought out and not just thrown together so that's why it's taken so long because we really were gonna start it this year but we pushed it off just to make sure that we you know we have everything taken care of and what it needs to be before we start it but we're gonna start a podcast so this is something that we never really thought to do when i first started youtube i didn't have the intention of oh we're gonna start a podcast um but I think what sparked it was when YouTube released their like feature to where you can have your podcast listed on your channel. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it was just like confirmation. Well, it goes 
that was confirmation. Yeah. From what was previously confirmed about, you know, why we're even doing this. Yeah. yeah, we're, yeah. We're, like the purpose of it. Yeah. Um, but we also confirmed that, you know, uh, we're not just on social media just for a job. Um, this is actually a platform um, for us to, to spread the gospel and make his name famous and really just be real about, you know, our walk, um, the faith and, um, you know, living as a believer in this day and time. Um, so that's kind of some of the things that, you know, we'll probably discuss in the podcast. Yeah. But what do y'all think? Which I want to, because y'all are going to be the ones listening. Like, would you, do you listen to podcasts? Do you watch podcasts? Would you listen to our podcast? <laughs> Would you watch our podcast? I do want some feedback on that. And like yeah. what topics, like what kind of podcasts are you into? So, yeah, we won't go into like topics. We have a lot of stuff planned. Yeah. Um, but we're excited. I'm excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely excited. I'm excited. Got some work to do, but yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. So let us know. Let us know how you feel towards the podcast world. Okay. So, just to sum it all up, what is a goal that you have for 2024 or what's something that you're looking forward to? To be honest, I'm really looking forward to... Oh, gosh. What? I'm scared. What? You, what? I'm, looking, <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing Chase grow up. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. I oh. didn't know you was going to say that. Because, because, as you know, I didn't get that opportunity with... With oh yeah, yeah. You left right now. Yeah. It was it, it was like, cause he's like two and a half. Yeah. Months. Yeah. So that's when you left with mm -hmm. Kinsley. Yep. So yeah. I was deployed when Kinsley was two months old and came back and she was nine. Yeah. <laughs> so now I get <laughs> to see. I get to see everything that happens between two months and nine months which yeah. is which is a lot it's a, a lot of development that happens between those months so you missed a lot of that yeah so you got some of that through video and pictures right so that's definitely one of the biggest highlights that's for a me. big deal i know it is hmm. i know <laughs> i did not even think about that yeah that's gonna be exciting it'll be exciting to experience that together yeah i'm also excited to see where where this goes Oh yeah. Um, I know that's probably one of your one of the things you're looking forward to too. Definitely, it's definitely something that I'm looking forward to. Um, yeah, like I'm looking forward to see really how my kids interact as he starts to get a little bit more like you know crawling and moving around, like how they interact. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited for. Um, Maybe to do a little bit more decor in the house. <laughs> this has nothing to do with anything, but <laughs> yeah. we've taken a long time. Oh, we hit one year of home ownership this year. Yeah, right? we did. So it'll be two years next year. That's true. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like I want to, I have porch plans. Like I have my porch layout, how I want to decorate that. We're doing a little mini gym in the back so we can start working out there, make it more convenient for us. And then I, I literally know how I'm going to decorate. It's just decor costs money. <laughs> the decor is so expensive. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to adding a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, that'd be Make nice. it look like a home. Yeah. For my house. That's, that's, that's the saying, right? House to a home. Home to. No, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Anywho, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to decorating. Um, yeah. Decorating. There's a lot going on in 2024. Mm -hmm. Got some travel going on. Yeah, some travel going on. My sis is graduating college. That's a big deal. Yeah. It's a big deal to me. You feel like you're graduating? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm graduating. I'm so excited for her. So yeah. that's going to be exciting. I'm excited to see her journey because her 2024 is going to be very different than all the other years of her life. I feel like she's really... that's When you graduate college and you start working, that's really when like... You know, you're an adult for real, for real. Yeah. So, I'm excited to see her journey. I'll have a one-year-old and a four-year-old next year. 
Oh, I turned 29 next year, and that's the last year of my 20s. You're getting I'm old. I'm excited. You're getting old. I'm excited. I'm excited for that. 29. There's a lot. 20, 2024 is going to be it. <laughs> 2024 is going to be it. It's going to be it. It's gonna, be, it's gonna a, be a good year. Yeah, it's gonna be a good year. Um, like I said, I really do feel, especially with like social media. Not only social media, not only social media in all areas of my life. I feel like I'll see the fruit of a lot of things. Yeah, and I agree. hopefully, twenty twenty four. My biggest goal, not my biggest, but one of my main goals, um, physically, is to get back to living a healthy lifestyle. Right. Not pregnant. Don't plan on <laughs> getting pregnant. Not pushing out no babies. I, I want to get back to a healthy Jasmine. <laughs> Cause woo. No way. What? No babies. Oh, I was about to say no way. Healthy Jasmine. No, babies, no, to her, no babies in twenty twenty four, man. No babies. No babies. No babies. Lord, please <laughs> hear my cry. But yeah, so definitely getting back to. The healthy things that I actually enjoy. Yeah. I, I like I like researching healthy, you know, healthy lifestyle things and mm-hmm. I just want to get back to that. So I mean that's that's probably one of the things we'll what? End the year doing. Working on yeah. Yeah, because I wanna start. Now I feel okay to like get back into working right. out and yeah. like juicing, healthier eating, like it is the holidays. Even though we're not really going anywhere. We're not, yeah, we're not doing much. Um, yeah, we're not doing much, so it's not really going to be that big of a deal. We do like Christmas because, you know, bacon, stuff like that. We're going to do some stuff right. with Kinsley. Yeah. But um, overall, we can start that. We'll definitely start that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll take them along on our juicing journey, starting that back up. Yeah. 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 Um, maybe I'll get a new juicer. <laughs> what? Talk about that later. No way. <laughs> no way. Well, you never know what twenty twenty four has in store. And nothing, got. nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. We want to be getting into that. You got into Anywho. it now? No, 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 no. You want a new juicer? <laughs> no, I don't. I just said that because we were talking about it. Well, no, I would take a new juicer. <laughs> let me let me make that clear. We're not doing a new juicer. Man. No, we're not. We got some other things to yeah. that we need. Anywho. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be what I'm looking forward to for 2024. Yeah, more growth, yeah. more consistency, less procrastination. That's a whole nother. That's a whole nother video. <laughs> save it for the podcast. Yeah, we'll save it for the podcast. Let us know, really for real, one. y'all. Let us know if you were for real listen to a podcast from us. We're gonna do it anyway. Well, they're not gonna have. Yeah, that's what I said. We're gonna, we're gonna, gonna do it anyway because we're gonna. We that's already decided and we've already been like working towards it. But I still want to get your input and I want to know like what topics would y'all be interested in. Um, yeah, let yeah. us know. Talk to us. Yeah. Leave a comment. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps us when you give it a thumbs up. Don't just watch and like the video and not, you know, actually give it a thumbs up. Make mm-hmm. sure you do that. It helps us. Yeah, it does help us. Subscribe. It helps Subscribe. us. Subscribe. Yeah. Watch the full video. It helps us. <laughs> That's it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this little hot chocolate chit chat video. We like chatting with y'all. We like these types of videos. Of course. We have these conversations anyway, so we we're just bringing y'all along. Yeah. This is like our normal. We like to just sit and talk about different stuff. So, like I said, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Our uploading times have been all over the place. So, you want to make sure that you're notified when we upload. And we'll see y'all in Vlogmas Day 12. 12. <laughs>